I'm always so excited to learn about a new cuisine and today it's all about Venezuelan food, a lovely snack. Kema, tell me what we're making. So today we're making golfeados, uh -huh. which is kind of like a sticky bun and it has all those beautiful flavours from Venezuelan cuisine, panela and anise seeds, delicious. Yes. I do notice some cheese over there too though. Yes, oh. we're Venezuelans' favourite sweet and savoury flavours all over our cuisine. Yes. So let's start. Okay, great. Can we just put some flour and yes. all the dry ingredients for our dough? We're going to start with the dough. Okay. And so plain flour. Plain flour. Mm -hmm. We're going to use rapadura or panela sugar, ah. which is an interesting ingredient from Venezuelan cuisine. Right. Kind of like molasses-like flavour. Oh, lovely. It comes from sugar cane juice. Fantastic. And then some cinnamon. Lots of cinnamon. And mm -hmm. our raisin agent, yeast. Yeast. Okay, so, so just it's some... kind of like a dough, like a rice yes. dough. And while we're mixing that, yep. I'm going to pour some warm milk, okay. butter and egg. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to whisk it and we're going to slowly incorporate it into the mix. Yes. We're going to mix it and knead it for about five minutes until it's all sticky and starts working all the gluten in there. Fantastic. Ooh. That's looking great. So okay. let's pour it into the bowl. Okay. And then we cover it and let it rest for an hour okay. until it doubles in size. Too easy. And some cling film over the top. Yeah. Now we wait. Okay. <laughs> Kema, that's really doubled in size, hasn't it? So we're going to start rolling this dough okay. and making a filling for it. Great. So, oh, knocking it back. It's always so sad to see all those bubbles go away. I know. <laughs> I know. It's so, all worth it. <laughs> I'm going to cut it in half okay. so it's easier to handle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And while I'm doing this, yes. I'll need you to make my filling. Okay, great. And we're going to make some cream cheese and butter. Yep, so a bit of cream cheese. We've brought it to room temperature so it's easier to mix. Exactly. And a bit of butter. There we go. And tell me a little bit about these delicious buns in Venezuela. Where would you find them? They're normally found on bakeries. Right. And sometimes specialty street food stalls where you can find golfeados. Yes. And people will have them sometimes for breakfast, sometimes mm. for snacks. Yes, I like the idea of cheese, so that saltiness and then sweetness and spice from cinnamon. Like, absolutely, that could work, particularly when they're warm just out of the oven. How good. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, that was easy to do. Yeah, so I'm going to do the other one. The okay. Other half. And I better hurry up. That's all right. I'll just give that a good mix. You can see how easy it is to mix when everything's soft and it's smooth. There's no lumps at all in it. Exactly. Okay, that is ready to go. So now we're going to spread it all over it. Okay. Half for one, half for the other. Half one, half the other. Okay. A little bit over here. Yes. So this is going to make it moist while it cooks. So one of the beautiful things about these rolls is that they're like really sticky and moist. So I, I do love them. Oh, I love it too. It's quite an experience <laughs> to eat them, yeah. And then we're going to... Um, we're going to crumb this feta cheese. Okay, So that's going to add extra savoury notes mm. into it. Love that. What are some of the cheeses you find in Venezuela? Can you find feta easily or Not is it a different really. type of cheese? Yeah. yeah, this is my substitution for uh -huh. <laughs> the cheeses of Venezuela. Venezuela is known for many uh, fresh cheeses okay. and there's a really savoury cheese that is called um, queso fresco in Venezuela. Yes, yes, um, I've heard of that. But yeah, I guess feta is the best thing next to it. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and it works just as well. It works just as well. Um, right. Sometimes I use halloumi as well. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so before we sprinkle the feta in, 
we're going to use some anise seeds. Ah. And this is another Venezuelan ingredient that is so, so good. It's aromatic, it has licorice-like mm. like aromas and flavor. Fantastic. So we're gonna sprinkle it. I love fennel yeah. or any anise seed flavor, particularly in baked goods, because it does just, the, the whole house smells fantastic yeah. of licorice. If you can't find the anise seeds, you could use fennel, fennel seeds, seeds as well. Fennel seeds, great. Yeah. And then we're gonna go over it with panela okay. or grated sugar cane. Yes. Uh, it's also called rapadura sugar, mm -hmm. and um, it just imparts so many beautiful molasses like mm. aromas. It's so complex. I really love it because it's less refined too. So yeah. it's a nice sugar to it's use natural, just in general. Yeah. Natural. Um, you could also use brown sugar. It okay. won't be exactly the same, no. or even coconut sugar. Mm. It works here as well. Yeah, it's readily available these days, which yeah. is great. Yeah, definitely. All right. So after we do this, we sprinkle some of the cheese on top. Okay, how much cheese? Ooh, as many as you want. Okay, oh, don't tell me that, because I'll add way too much cheese. Yeah, we'll add... <laughs> enough so we can enough roll it. so we can roll it. Okay. There we go, maybe one more. Yeah, happy with that? Yeah, happy with that. And now we're gonna roll it All using right. the longer edge. Okay. Kind of like a cinnamon roll, cinnamon a scroll, roll. Yeah. yeah. So we're gonna just start rolling. I can probably do this one, yeah. I can help and you out. One. There's something about baking in the kitchen with friends. It's so therapeutic, isn't it? So good. <laughs> it's just that social interaction exactly. as well. And sharing of stories that I, I absolutely love. I've already learnt so much about Venezuelan baking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're just pinching the seam closed. Yes. Great. And now we're going to cut it and put it in a baking tray and okay. we're going to let it proof for another half an hour. Great. So we've got our buns, they've frozen up a bit. Yes, and they look great. Now we're going to move on to the syrup. Okay. So we're going to make a syrup with the panela. So mm -hmm. first the butter. Butter in. Then our panela sugar. Okay, lots of panela sugar. I like this. <laughs> yeah, some water. Water. And the anise seeds, so it adds that extra flavour of yes. you know, the aroma of, of the licorice. I love that. And anise seeds. I'm gonna let it melt and get all syrupy, sticky. Okay. And then we're gonna brush the buns mm -hmm. before we put it in the oven at 180 for about 20 minutes. Sounds great. These look so good, so yes. sticky. And they <laughs> smell amazing, so let's do it. Okay, we have allowed them to cool because they're piping hot when they come out of the oven. And you did brush them that one last time, last five minutes of cooking, just so they get extra glossy. Extra glossy. Mm. So I like to finish them off with some cheese as well. Okay. And if you want more of this syrup. Ooh, 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 ooh. I'm such a sweet tooth. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. And a bit of this feta on top. Okay. They look so pretty. Okay. There we go. Have a taste. All right, <laughs> now is the time. Sticky fingers, sticky, sticky buns. Sticky. Oh, I want to see inside it. Oh, look at that. Sticky so, bun. Now I've got to make sure I have a taste of it with the cheese, with right? With the cheese. Because yeah. it's that contrast. That's the contrast. I'm a big connoisseur of sticky buns. And I must say, I was hesitant to see feta cheese going into a delicious cinnamon sticky bun, but it works. I don't know how, it works. You're a genius, but you are. I just think it is the coolest thing with that feta cheese. Yes. Oh, I think that's the, one of the best things I've tasted all year. It's so good. Yum. Makes me so happy. Oh. 